Hello everyone, my name is Mackenzie with LaFontaine Classics and we're actually over here at the new and improved LaFontaine Quick Loop over in Milford. So if you're in the area and need an oil change, come check us out, we'd be happy to help. Today we're using this place as a little studio because we got some snow coming down to review our 86 K20 we just got in. Gorgeous truck, it is a survivor as far as sheet metal goes. Wait till we get into the suspension this baby's got and it is just gorgeous under the hood. I want to talk about a couple of the components on the front end of this. You notice some of these babies look like they've been here since 86 some look new these headlights i'd say are new components while the grill is showing just a little bit of age you see the paint is wilting a little bit but the bow tie still looks bright chrome on the bumper looks good it's showing just a little bit of age or some light scratches in it but still very bright get a good look down low on this thing it is equipped with a whole bunch of new goodies as far as suspension goes we've got new shackles leafs obviously steering stabilizer drag link even the pitman arm the steering box the list goes on and take a peek at them headers, those look sick. Now, I'm gonna pop the hood for you. The release is just inside of here. And there's just one right under here. Oh baby, so it's a 5.7 liter V8. So we have an aluminum intake man manifold, four barrel holly, nice big air cleaner. And this thing was equipped right out of the box with the power brakes, power steering, air conditioning, that power steering pump's just downstairs, and check out those nice stainless steel headers. Those things look quality to me. Cool looking breather on here. Battery looks nice. This is an aluminum radiator under here. It's a three inch core. I believe this is a Red River power steering box that just got put in here. All these years later, even the insulation mat on the underside of here is still in good shape. Come on in, you're gonna see nice wheel arch moldings, paint and the fitment up on this hood and cowl's all very nice. Have some gorgeous BFGs on some freshly painted steel wheels. I like the hubcaps and the locking hub shining through. It's a 315.75 on a 16 inch wheel. They might make these 33s. That'll be in the description. Feel free to correct me in the comments. Get a look at the frame rail in here. Everything's nicely coated. See so we got nice stainless steel brake lines. Even the rag joint is new. Those shocks we were talking about, all a rough country kit. Our Silverado badge in showing this is a three quarter ton. And we even have the chrome package. So stainless mirrors, stainless strip rails. And we also have the bright molding all down the side of this. Out back, again, just a little bit of character on this thing. This is not a show truck by any means, but it is a truck after all. You could definitely use this thing and Looking at it, it makes me want to go have a ton of fun with it. It just has that look, it has that feel, and the sound, of course. I like the fitment from these bedsides to the tailgate. Once again, you're going to find a little bit of wear on here. Uh, of course, we're not going to point out every little chip and scratch because this one has enough of them. But there's no rust, which is the big thing. Inside of the tailgate looks good, In the inside of the truck bed, Looks like a truck bed. Uh, pretty even wear on top of all these runners. This thing probably had a bed mat in it at some point in time, but there's nothing to hide. It is solid as hell. There's no rust anywhere. Inner fenders aren't blown out. No dents anywhere. Inside of the bed wall, no dents to speak of either. Nice chrome step bumper on here. And you notice this does have an integrated ball and a two inch receiver. All slick stuff and at your light and trailer hookups over here. How many bolts are on that bitch? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 bolt. <whistles> you see we got drum brakes out back. Good looking rear end. We see those same rough country shocks with those blocks right on top of the axle heightening the ride height of this bad boy. Drive shaft looks good. The dual exhaust is symmetrical as hell. I like the dumps. This thing once again, Sounds awesome, and I'm excited for you to hear it. That's awesome. When these aren't overdone, you land in the sweet spot, and they've gone through it mechanically, and they've left you a little bit of wear and tear. I like it. Coming down over here, no major dents or dings to speak of. Uh, I'm sure you could find some, of course. There's a little bit more wear on the tops of these bedsides, as expected. Um, good fitting doors. Again, this Silverado trim truck has all sorts of bling on it, and I dig that. Sharp looking mirrors, the glass looks good. Gap and fitment up here is nice as well. Here's another good shot of things. I mean, these inner fenders, those gotta be new. Is nice paint on them, no rust, and they look beautiful from under the hood too. Ooh, mama. All right, man, a lot of red going on in here. 
It looks very nice. Uh, these door cards are in really good shape. Got some carpet down low, a little bit of vinyl, and then some suede up top. Kind of cool. This is a manual window cranking truck here. You know how those work. We got some factory shoulder belts. That's cool to see. Could have had laps or shoulder. Another thing we're back here. This is option with the rear sliding glass. So you get a cool breeze through here if you want it. Factory wheel is free of any cracks. Looks very good. As is the horn button. That's in great shape. This is a tilt column truck. It's almost a one size fits all when you got one of these babies in here. Or up around our instruments. The brushed inlay surrounding this panel all looks good. Voltmeter, oil pressure, coolant temp. We got our speedo right in front of you. That goes up to 85 miles an hour. This truck has 89,000 miles. Now those are believed to be original. Given the condition all the way around this thing, I believe it too. And this is just a two owner vehicle. Right over here in the center, we got our controls. That'll run the factory air conditioning as well as the heat and the blower motor. You can also change whether that's kicking on your feet or up defrosting the windshield. Down low, we have a retro sound stereo right in the factory location. I like these because you don't have to do any cutting to get a modern radio in your classic car. So very cool touch. Over in the center here, this button is to work the dual tank this truck was equipped with. They often fail and get removed. This one just has one tank. Over here, ashtray cigarette lighter. Nice trim along the dash pad. Check this out too. We have the original spid tag still present. And if you want to find a close up of this, it will be on our website. Click the link down in the description. This shows just how this truck was optioned. It is pretty loaded up, filling up one full row in almost a second. And if you want to see what's inside of here, all the original paperwork to go with it, you can also find close ups of that in our listing, which is on the website, right in that description down below. Behind this lovely seat, we got a little bit more storage, as you can see, and the factory option dual speakers. A little bum we couldn't drive it for you today. We did get to shake this thing down before making it available, of course. It runs out sweet. It does drive like a three quarter ton jacked up truck, but it's everything you could want. Quick recap, tons of new underpinnings, the suspension, everything up underneath it, all the monitored amenities we like up under the hood, power brakes, power steering, air conditioning, and inside you can listen to your modern sounds, that nice modern radio, and the interior is very tidy. If you've been looking for something like this, give us a holler. It's 248-714-2110. And also down in the description right down here, if you scroll down just a ways, we put a link in all these. That's where you can find out the price, where this truck was born, the first couple owners, the fact it's never been in any accidents. All that will be in the link in the description. So check out our website. And I'm going to quit rambling on here. Thank you guys for making it to the end. And we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye from LaFontaine Classics in Milford.